the Wonder Woman sequel that will conclude the trilogy might be closer than expected, especially since Jenkins' confirmation about the script already being dropped a month ago, which was a good enough reason for me to tell you all about the bits and pieces that I managed to find regarding the movie and Linda Carter's appearance in the post credit scene of the latest movie. And without further ado, let's dive right in. As you might know by now, a third Wonder Woman movie is in development as I speak, which, according to many, will be the next big thing after the latest DCEU entry with Black Adam. The sequel, originally slated for a 2019 release, got delayed by a year, with the movie getting released in December 2020 on HBO Max and in limited theaters because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The sequel, despite having limited access when it comes to people who like to go to the cinema, did pretty well. A very good success given the circumstance, which was more than enough for Patty Jenkins to decide to complete the trilogy with yet another sequel. A sequel that will conclude her very own trilogy after serving as the director of the previous two as well. Joining her will be Gal Gadot yet again in the role of Wonder Woman. Probably two of the things that never changed over the years, which might be just what the movie needs to have a good run and become the speculated next big thing. Recent news suggests that the script for the movie has already been finished, reported by Patty Jenkins, which should be a good relief for all the fans. A big, very well needed update. Something that will probably suggest that it's closer than expected. With the filming side of things, if everything is ready to start, as soon as the end of this year, if not early next year. Jenkins also added that she has planned a trilogy for quite some time and that she knows what she wants for the movie, but she is somewhat confused as to what might come next after that. A clear indication that she will probably be back for any sequels or other DC movies to come, even after Wonder Woman 3. Plot details about the movie itself are pretty scarce, kept hidden under wraps. However, star Gal Gadot has confirmed that we should expect the return of Linda Carter, something that I'll talk about a little bit further down the line. All you need to know by now is that Linda Carter played Wonder Woman in the 1970s television series, and she had a cameo in the post credit scene of Wonder Woman 1984 as the character Asteria, an ancient Amazon who stayed behind in the world of men so her Amazon sister could escape to the island of Themyscira. The very big difference that I think will be a huge change for all of you is the setting. Because while both of the previous movies were period pieces, it is believed that the third movie will be set in the present day of DCEU, following the events of the Justice League movie. Sadly, currently, there is still no official release date for the movie. However, no matter what happens, you should not be expecting anything regarding the movie up until 2024, with some trailer of sorts to release at the start of the year and the movie to hit that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, for the movie to hit theaters in the second half of 2024. So why is Wonder Woman 3 expected to be the next big thing? There must be some reason behind it, right? Well, one of the obvious things that come to mind would be the fact of the movie simply being very valuable for the DCEU, with the universe in need of this movie. It is important because it would fix, to some extent, DC's universe continuity. For instance, Batman's appearance in Aquaman in The Last Kingdom, confirmed by Jason Momoa himself, has caused confusion over whether Ben Affleck or Michael Keaton will be the universe's Batman going forward. The other thing that is very interesting now is the confirmation of Henry Cavill's long-awaited sequel which is probably in development already, something that was made certain after his latest appearance in, spoiler alert, the Black Adam movie. This return could mean that not only will the character and the actor finally get the long-awaited and desired sequel, but also something big planned for the character in the entire universe, outside of his movie as a whole. So keep an eye out, as there might be some news regarding that DC project as well. I think you would not be ready to see Henry Cavill Superman as part of the Wonder Woman 3 movie, right? Another worrying thing is the latest controversy around Ezra Miller, The Flash from DC. A few problems which could be somewhat negated by how Wonder Woman 3 could serve as a solid constant for the DCEU going forward. Despite the last movie's divided reception, 
Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman is still regarded as one of the most popular characters in the DCEU. So, bringing in one of the most beloved characters as soon as possible to the big screen will probably be a big priority when it comes to upcoming movies from the DC Universe. All you need is to want it. One of the big surprises that will come through in the near future is the synopsis of the movie which will tell us what direction the movie is going to take. Because let me tell you this, there are so many options out there. But one that stands out is the theory that involves Linda Carter and her appearance as Amazonian Asteria in the post credit scene of the second movie. Thus, it is likely that the sequel will continue with this reveal and that Linda's character will be heavily involved in the story to come. A helpful change will surely be the previously mentioned setting of the movie with the events of it happening in the present day, with Diana fighting crime in the present, and along the events, she becoming more tied to the larger universe, with her actions setting up where the DCEU will go next. A huge bonus of living in the present will likely be the help of other Justice League members, who will probably make an appearance in the movie, thus making a more complex thing for the character and how she fits into the entire DCEU. Two prospects about the future of the character are the character's smashing of that subscribe button and ringing of that notification bell. But no, in reality, the character's arrival and as well what she brings to the table when the shared universe is taken into consideration. So yes, all in all, the movie will be a big thing and it will tell us more about the future of the DCEU with a few cameo appearances here and there from other famous characters of the DC. Besides the reveal about Linda Carter still being alive and working from the shadows, much like Diana, there will certainly be some kind of a search for Linda, with her existence possibly hinting at other Amazonians also alive somewhere still in hiding. And these Amazons can easily be either friend or foes, so Diana would need to help unite everyone with assistance from other Amazons, something that will play a huge part in the movie. But what about some other plot threads that are out there? Well, Cheetah cannot be forgotten, not yet, who will probably return for the sequel, with the history of the two, potentially making them allies in the fight to come. Another ally that Diana might get on her side would be Max Lord's loyalty, which if he is still alive, because of the years that have passed ever since we last saw him and the present day where the movie will take place and his power is being very crucial piece of the puzzle when the events unfold. And what about Steve? Do you think there is a chance for him to come back? Or do you think Diana has moved on from that chapter in her life? Because before you form an answer, I will tell you that there were some rumors regarding his return in the third movie as well. Hence, keep an eye out for any news regarding the topic. See you in the next video.